As we mentioned, the polls now officially closed and tallies will soon be coming in for who will challenge Charleston County's incumbent sheriff Kristen Graziano this coming November. Our crew is out at both candidates watch parties tonight. We'll get to our Caitlin Ashbaugh first. She's joining us from candidate Greg Kitchen's event and Caitlin. How are things looking out there? How's the optimism? <laughs> Hey Justin, well we haven't had a chance to head in there yet, but we have already heard there's plenty of people inside getting that energy up for candidate Greg Kitchens. Now Kitchens, he's one of two Republican candidates hoping to lead the Charleston County Sheriff's Office. And this morning he told us the answer here is leadership. But first, there are some things that need to change. On campaign pages, Kitchens mentioned he'd like to challenge concerns he had with understaffing, recruitment and retainment, and an ongoing issue with crime, specifically traffic and gang related issues. Now Kitchens a former CCSO deputy sheriff and member of the Marine Corps is in a runoff against opponent Carl Ritchie. If you step outside of Charleston County into Berkeley County into Somerville, they're fully staffed, turning away certified police officers from all over the state every day because they run good agencies with good leadership. We can do that in Charleston County too, but something's got to change. I'll be live from Kitchen's watch party later tonight, and we'll have those live updates of live results on our website as they come to us. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News. Thank you, Caitlin. And our Carly Baker is also joining us live now outside of Carl Ritchie's watch party as he awaits results with supporters there. Now, Carly, what's going on out there at Bodega? The polls closed for primary runoff races. We're going to check in on those sheriff's candidates here. <laughs> Justin, the party just started here at 7 here at the bodega in Mount Pleasant. I've seen a couple of people walk inside for the party, and I see more and more cars keep pulling in. Now, I was out at the Mount Pleasant Municipal Complex for a few hours this afternoon, checking out the turnout for these runoff races. Voting officials said they saw large crowds come through the doors to cast their ballots and that it was steady all day long. Republican candidate Carl Ritchie told Live 5 News that he was feeling good about the race when he took his mother to vote this morning. I put in good programs in place. I have strong community relationships. I've been tested and tried through everything from pandemics, civil unrest, natural disasters, man-made disasters. And each and every time I've been able to stand up and make sure I had the courage to do what it took to keep our citizens safe. And that's exactly what I'll do for Charleston County. I'll be hanging out here at the party and have more as we get some of those numbers coming up tonight at 11. And we will keep you updated on air and on our website as those election results come in. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Carly Baker, Live 5 News.